a very good morning to all in the last class we started with chapter 9 and we learned about weather climate what is atmosphere so today we are going to learn a new topic so we'll be learning about sea breeze land breeze etc so first let's start with sea breeze so how many of you have visited a beach so most of you have visited a beach right so how do you feel when you are in a beach so you can see the waves even you feel the breeze of the water right so what is this breeze breeze means the gently moving air so do you know how this breeze happens do you know how this sea breeze happens so let's learn how this sea breeze happens so there are two important feature for land and water so that is for land it is it gets hot very quickly and at the same time it gets cold very quickly so it is the special feature of land and for water it is it takes a very long time to get hot and once it is warmer it takes a very long time to get cool down so these are the two important feature of land and water that is land gets hot and cooler very faster in case of sea it gets cooler and hotter very slowly it takes long time because it is filled with water during the day because of the heat from the sun the land is very very hot and what about the sea so sea takes a very long time to get warmer so what about the air near to the land so the air that is in contact with the land is also warmer why because the land itself is warm and what about the air near to the sea so the air that is in contact with the sea is cooler because it takes long time to get warmer so the air that is in contact with the sea is cooler so if the warm air that is lighter it rises upwards so the warm air rises upwards then what happens the cool air rushes it rushes and takes the place of warm air so the movement of air from sea to the land causes sea breeze so what is sea breeze the wind blowing from the sea to the land causes sea breeze coming to the next one that is about land breeze do you know how this land breeze happens so during night there is no rays of sun so the so land is cold and what about the sea the sea takes a very long time to get cooler because it is its special feature so the land is cooler now and the sea is warmer so what about the air the air that is in contact with the land is also cooler right then what about the sea the air that is in contact with the sea is warmer so air is warm so this warm air being lighter it rises upwards and the cool air rushes towards the sea and it takes the place of warm air so the wind blowing from land to sea causes land breeze so this is how land breeze occurs so i hope you understood about sea breeze and land breeze the next one is about evaporation so do you know what is evaporation so evaporation means the process of converting water into water vapor 
that is called evaporation. When you heat water, what happens? It changes into water vapor. So water is in the liquid state that changes into the gaseous state that is the water vapor. So let me give you an example. So after we wash our clothes, we dry our clothes, right? So here the water gets evaporated. So the water gets evaporated. The water gets evaporated very faster during a sunny or windy day. So what is evaporation? Evaporation means the process of converting water into water vapor. That is called evaporation. So there is an activity in page number 104. You can do that activity and you can write down your findings in the notebook. Coming to the next one, that is about condensation. So do you know what is condensation? So condensation means the process of converting water vapor into water. That is called condensation. So let me give you an example. When you close the hot water with a lid, after some time, when you open this lid and when you observe it, you can see the water droplets. You can see the water droplets over the lid. So do you know where do these water droplets come? So they came by the process of condensation. So when you close a hot vessel with a lid, the temperature of the lid is very low. So the water vapor rises into the air and condenses over the cold lid. And we see water droplets over the lid. So that process, we call it as condensation. So what is condensation? It is the process of converting water vapor into water. So that is called condensation. There is another activity regarding condensation. In page number 104, you can do that activity. Then there are some questions given. The first one, the process of changing water on heating into water vapor, that is called evaporation condensation. So what is the answer? The answer is evaporation. The process of converting water into water vapor, that is called evaporation. Then the second one, the process of changing water vapor on cooling into water is called evaporation condensation. It is called condensation. Then in page number 103, you have two questions given there. During the daytime, there is land breeze, sea breeze. So what is the answer? The answer is sea breeze. During the day, it causes sea breeze. Then the second one. During the day, the land water gets heated up faster than the land water. So during the day, the land gets heated up faster than water. I hope you all understood the topic about sea breeze, land breeze, evaporation and condensation. So we'll meet in the next class and discuss new topic. Till then, thank you.